If you want to hear my picks for the sixth edition of the Roulette Pen Collab Project, then stick around. Before getting into it, I want to thank Alexi, who is, I believe, from Sweden, and Rebecca, who is from Canada, just like me, for creating this Roulette Pen Collab project. And let me explain a little bit what this project is about. And I just want to not forget to let you know, here's the hashtag. If you look on Instagram or you search on YouTube, that hashtag will take you to folks who are participating in this project and we are in the hundreds. So that is fantastic. Here's how it works. I am going to randomly select six numbers out of one to 50 and each one of the numbers, this is an old sheet, but each one of the numbers relates to something, some description of a product. And based on that description, I will go into my makeup collection and pick those six items to basically pan until I'm either done with the product or that I'm satisfied that I've achieved the goal that I set for uh, use of said product. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my phone and we are going to generate six numbers because I don't have to worry about a conflict or having used the number before because this is a brand new project. So here we go. I've just put in my numbers one to 50 and I'm going to select six at random as I mentioned before. I'm just going to write them down and we'll see what we get to. So here we go. Twenty-two. Twenty nine, twenty. Apparently, twenties is the thing today. Come on, thirty nine. Okay, two more. Thirty eight, and finally. 4. Okay, so we have 22, 29, 20, 39, 38, and 4. So let's take a look at what those are. Why not go in order of uh, smallest to, to largest number? So number 4 is a drugstore product. Number 20 is a product I don't reach for often. Number 22 is a product I love. Number 29 is a product in a palette. Number 38 is something I am afraid to pan. I've had that one before, for sure. Number 39 is a colorful eyeliner. And I think that is it, three and, yep. That is it. Those are the six. So I am going to go and shop my stash and find those six items and I'll be right back. I am back. Here we go. So the first number that we had in order of smallest to largest is number four. And number four is a drugstore product. And I have the perfect item for that category and it is the L'Oréal Lash Paradise in waterproof and the reason I'm going to focus on it is it has been open for a while. It is a waterproof mascara which means it is a mascara I only use when it is kind of a, a, a wet day and I'm worried about my mascara running all over the place. So that is the perfect mascara for me to use up. And it's the perfect mascara because um, it is into fall and I am expecting more rain than there has been this summer. And this brush is very reminiscent of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is actually the one that I'm using that is not waterproof. So that is the one I'm going to be using for category four. 
Next up is a product I don't reach for enough. And that was a very, very quick decision because as a matter of fact, in the last week I thought, how come I am not using this product? So I'm going to start using it effective today. And it is the Guerlain Meteorite. And it looks like this. So here's the, here's the container. You may have seen this before. And it is a finishing powder. And it's a, a bit of an illuminating and finishing powder. And the cool thing is it comes in these little beads. And so what you do is when you're ready to use the powder, you knock around those little beads a little bit and then uh, take uh, a big fluffy brush and dip your brush into this container and finish up. And you can actually see on the lid, I think, the powder that comes off the beads. And they're very different uh, colors of beads, and so it's uh, light reflecting and diffusing and just gives you a beautiful finish. And I thought exactly this last week, how come I am not reaching for this? And it's so pretty and it sits right, right back there. In every video, you're going to see it back there. And so, and I think maybe it's because it feels like it's part of the display, but I really like this product and I have no idea why I'm not using it. So that is going to be fantastic. Now we have some other 20s. Uh, the next one is number 22. And that one was a product I love. And I love scented hand cream, uh, especially if I have uh, smelled it and I thought, oh, this is really, really good. And I was debating between two of them. One of them is a spicy, more Christmassy scent. And then the other one is more of a flowery, upbeat scent. And I thought, well, we're not into Christmas season yet. I'm not mentally, I'm not there yet, even though I like the, that one better. I think I'm going to go with this one. And it is the Being by Sanctuary Spa Hibiscus and Coconut Water Hand Cream. And there's quite a bit in here. There's 50 ml or 1.69 fluid ounces. And it smells really good. And I put it on before bringing it on camera just to make sure that I was sure that this is the one that I want to use. And I can confirm that that is what I want. And the I like the Being by Sanctuary Spa products, so I have no doubt I will enjoy this cream. And the nice thing is too, it's small enough to just throw in my purse for wherever I'm going. Perfect. The next product is number 29, again in the 20s, and it is a product in a palette. And that's really interesting because I was thinking just recently again, similar to the Guerlain product. I really need to be using this because I'm not reaching for it. I don't need it very often. And that is a product in the Complexionista palette, which I just finished uh, using because I brought it on a trip. And this is a perfect size palette to bring on a trip. Let me show you the inside. And this is the product that I'm talking about. It is the Hula Bronzer Light. And as you can tell, it's pretty light for me, but I can use it definitely as uh, setting powder for, uh, for example, to set my eye primer um, or the lighter areas of my face as well, where I don't want to have a bronze, but maybe I want a lighter powder. I don't think I would use it as a setting powder. That would be a little bit too dark for me, but I think I can make it work. So that is what I'm going to focus on in this palette. Hang in there, four products done, two more to go. The next one is number 38. And 38 is uh, something that I'm afraid to pan. And I hemmed and hawed on this one, and here's what I came up with. I have a fear of body sprays. I don't use them, I feel kind of funny, I'm never sure. So I decided, well, why not go and use um, a body mist. So it is this one and it's called the I Love Raspberry and Blackberry Refreshing Body Spritzer. And it has a nice mist. And it smells lovely. It smells great. So I don't see why I wouldn't use it. Although it's been hanging around for months and I haven't touched it. <laughs> it was a gift actually. And, uh, and I think it's it's high time that I use it. And I think that, along with this one, I think that they're a good pair. And they are two products that I've had, like I said, for a while. And yeah, I, I think it's a good pairing and it will 
this project will encourage me to use this product and I know that once I get into the groove of using it I will really enjoy it so let's get going and finally and finally we have number 39 which is a colorful eyeliner and this is a category I've had before and I'm going to use the same one I'm pretty sure it's the one I picked the last time I had this category and it is the Annabelle lavender pencil and let me give you a swatch of that there's a definite purple pink theme to my selections today and it is very very fetching it looks really great and it's a very nice base for a pink or purple inner lid eyeshadow so I, I liked it last time I used it but it's just been sitting there with me using other products and I really am looking forward to cracking this out again and uh, and using it so very pleased to have made this selection so let's just go over the products one last time we have the drugstore product a waterproof mascara by L'Oreal we have the product in a, a palette the Hula Light I'll be using out of this we have a hand cream as a product I love, accompanied by a mist for a product I am afraid to pan, so I love and afraid, <laughs> go figure. One that I'm not using enough is the Guerlain Meteorite Pearls. And finally, the colorful eyeliner. I think that these six products are a perfect fit. They almost feel like they're a marketing bundle. They, they're, they're all different enough, but complementary in color or function. So I'm very excited to uh, start off this project with these six items and I'm very excited to report my progress in a month's time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Alexi and Rebecca for um, spearheading this project and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.